Amid the delay in the indigenous near Bay cruise missile program, the Indian Navy is looking at the French-made naval cruise missile as a promising alternative. The French turbojet-powered subsonic cruise missile has garnered attention for its exceptional precision and extended standoff range capabilities. The French side has said that it can be vertically launched from Indian warships to strike targets at 1,400 km and can also be launched through the torpedo tubes of six Calvary class submarines to hit targets at 1,000 km, thus significantly enhancing Navy's surface and underwater strike capabilities. India is planning to develop a floating sea-based radar system as part of its ballistic missile defense program that can detect and track enemy ballistic missiles and also differentiate between warheads and decoys. India has already completed phase 1 of its BMD system with land-based radar installations, but they are inherently vulnerable due to their fixed locations, and to address this concern, India will mount sea-based radar systems on semi-submersible vessels, providing them the flexibility to move strategically away from the reach of rival missiles. The Vice President Business Development for Boeing Defense has said that following the defeat of F-A-18 in the Indian Navy contest for 26 carrier-based fighters, Boeing is likely to cease production of the F-A-18 in 2025. Securing the Indian Navy order would have enabled Boeing to continue F-A-18 manufacturing activities until 2027. Although production of the F-A-18 Super Hornet is nearing conclusion, Boeing is optimistic of the F-15EX offer to the Indian Air Force under the MRFA program, as well as sixth-generation fighter jet contract from the US Air Force in 2024. French firm Safran and India's gas turbine research establishment will soon work out formalities for the joint venture, that aims to create an advanced 120 kN engine for the AMCA program. India is expected to make a significant commitment to procure 400 engines, to ensure that economies of scale are achieved, and the cost of each unit remains proportionate to approximately 30% of the AMCA overall value and this engine will also find its application in twin-engine deck-based fighter jets. India is set to gain approximately 80% transfer of technology in the initial phase itself, and India and France will jointly hold the intellectual property rights, and India will also retain full control over export permissions. The DRDO is all set to start initial phase of the Netramark II program, that will include conducting sensor trials on DRDO's Airbus A319 flying test bed aircraft from early next year. Following successful trials, Airbus will conduct modification of the 6X Air India A321 aircraft, that will be integrated with larger and more sophisticated radar and sensor suites and it is expected that the first Netramark II aircraft will conduct its first flight by 2026. The Indian Air Force has entered into a five-year performance-based logistics agreement with Airbus, making Airbus contractually obligated to ensure 85% availability for the fleet at any point in time. The head of Airbus's C-295 India program has said, that the collaboration with Tata Group involves nearly 90% of technology transfer, and in terms of man-hours, the aircraft will be built completely in India from the 30th aircraft onwards, which means that there will be no work done by Airbus on the rest of the order outside the country. 14,000 parts of the aircraft are being indigenized by the Tata Group at the rate of about 4,000 parts every year. And India is also in talks with Airbus to set up a maintenance repair and overhaul hub for the C-295.